let's give it up for Ms. Raquel Velez in Engineering for the Masses. Or she. He or she. So people seem to think that engineering is this really hard to grasp concept, that you need to have some sort of four-year degree or be some sort of genius in science or math just to get it. But what if I told you that you don't have to have a four-year degree to do engineering? What if I told you that besides all the technology and all the cool architecture, that you could do engineering in your home? What if I told you that engineering is for everyone? Engineering is for everyone. Anybody can do it, anytime, any day, on any project, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that. And really it comes down to six very simple steps. It comes down to what I like to call, everybody calls, the engineering design process. The engineering design process is what every engineer uses for whatever project they're doing, whether it's big or small, and it's really very basic. So, let's go ahead and get started. Step one, identify your problem. It's not enough to just have an idea, you actually have to have a problem. Because as you may know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So first thing you need to do is just say, what's my goal, what's my end game? Maybe it's to participate in a robotics competition. Maybe it's to make a cake for someone's birthday. Whatever it is, this is the first step to your engineering journey. Your next step, is to do your research. Go out, this is, this is the really boring part, I know, but it's really important to not only fully understand what your problem is, but also to fully understand all the possible solutions to that problem. So go out there and read a book, go online, ask your friends, find out everything you possibly can to understand what it is that you're getting yourself into and how you can do it the best way possible. Now, You've done all that, you've done your research, you've thought about it really hard. Now it's time for the design phase. This is your chance to go in and just start writing things down. Take a guess, draw it out, whatever it is, just do it. Just start kind of figuring things out. How many cups of this? How many teaspoons of that? How many wheels are gonna be on your robot? Should your robot even be wheeled? Should it have legs? Who knows? This is your chance to kind of take all your ideas and put it on the paper and figure it out. You've done all that, you've got your design, you've thought about it all. Now comes the really fun part. This is my favorite part. You get to build. Build it. Just start ahead and start coming up with, an this is an opportunity to just start taking your design that you've worked really hard putting together and just start making it. Put things together, stir things up, cut pieces up, whatever it is. This is your chance to take your idea and actually see it in real life. And it's just, as a mechanical engineer, I can't help it. This is my favorite part. Then you're going to test. Find out, does it work? Is it, does it taste good? Does it go up the ramp? If it, if it does, if it's perfect, then you're done. Great, no big deal. But what if it breaks? What if it decides to jump into the sea of reporters? That's okay, because the real secret to engineering is the break and iterate loop. In the break and iterate loop, you've done your research, you've done your design, you've built it, you've tested it, but then something broke. Well, why did it break? Hmm, let's do some research. Let's find out why did it break? What possible solutions do we have? Now let's go in and let's design the solution, let's build the solution, let's add it in, let's go ahead and test it. Ugh, okay, so it's not quite right. Go through the process again. You go over and over and over again, and I know it sounds kind of tedious and it really hurts, but this is how you make your product stronger. This is how you make your, your product better and faster, more reliable, everything. You've done all of that, you've gone through the loop over and over and over again, problem solved. You're done, you've done the whole thing. You've got the invention of the year. You've won your robotics competition, you've made the most delicious food imaginable, and you couldn't be happier, right? That's it, you're done, fantastic. But what about failure? In our society today, we talk a lot about, or we have this feeling that if we work really, really hard on something, we've tried it, we've worked really, really hard, and then it doesn't work. So then what, we lose, right? It's over, we fail. But in the engineering design process, it's impossible to fail unless you give up. So you go through that research, design, build, test loop over and over again until you get your product right. So that from beginning 
to end, you've got the whole thing cleared and figured out everything you need to do. So now you know how to identify the problem, research, design, build, test, problem solved. Go out there, engineer something awesome. Thank you so much.